Newark businesses have received some much needed funding from the city. Newark's Small Business Grant Fund has awarded a total of $2.2 million to more than 100 businesses, including hair salons, restaurants, retailers, and others. These companies were located in areas hardest hit by the economic fallout from the pandemic. This is the third round of funding from the city's grant program, which launched last spring. There are calls once again on social media to boycott Secaucus-based Goya Foods following weekend comments made by the CEO. Bob Yanonwe spoke at the Conservative Political Action Conference where he said Donald Trump was the legitimate president of the U.S. I asked Carlos Medina, president and CEO of the statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, if he supports the boycott. Just like I'll make the same statement, Rhonda, that if a company's board of directors or a company's senior executives don't look like the community, you should consider whether you want to shop with them. So if a company's CEO makes such outrageous claims, you should consider. But I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be as strong as to say boycott them. I won't use them in my household anymore. A lot of my friends won't. Goya also faced calls for a boycott last summer. The American Dream Mall now has $41 million in construction liens filed against it. The liens were filed between last March and this past February from contractors seeking payment for their work. One lawyer blames financial hardships facing some of the mall's tenants. While the American Dream Mall has reopened, not all of the retailers and restaurants have opened their doors. The state assembly has given unanimous approval to a bill designed to help residents get smarter about their finances. The bill would create financial empowerment centers in five major cities where residents can get coaching on personal finances, as well as attend financial literacy programs. These centers would be set up as part of a three-year pilot program. The program would be paid for by using money the state received from Equifax to settle claims over a data breach that occurred in 2017. Now, here's a look at today's trading on Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report provided by J.P. Morgan Chase, a provider of investment banking and financial services for consumers and small businesses, commercial banking, financial transaction processing, and asset management.